November is National Native American History Month, and our state is overflowing with Native history that many are unfamiliar with. Mackinac Island is known as one of the more popular tourist spots in the country, but what people may not realize is its significance to the tribes of Michigan. 9 and 10's videographer Josh Monroe takes a closer look in this special report, Island of the Forgotten. <laughs> It's a special place that once you step off the boat and you're there, you can feel it. Mackinac Island, a bustling tourist destination in northern Michigan, but there's a history that most who visit have never heard. Mackinac Island has always been a, a special place for all peoples who have been here, beginning with uh, Native Americans and their creation stories. It's the place where the world began. For some in Nishan Bay, Mackinac Island is the origin spot. And with people inhabiting the island since time immemorial, it's become sacred land for not just the living, the islands have been a real significant place for burial, and it's not just, like I said, one or two islands, it's all the islands. The burials are everywhere. I mean, we've been here for thousands of years. But in the 1800s, the Anishinaabe faced a turning point that threatened their way of life. The Anishinaabe were targeted for removal in Michigan. They wanted to remove the Odawa of northern Michigan to Kansas in the 1830s, and the Anishinaabe, the Odawa said, no, we're not going out there. This is, that's not home. The fact that there were so many of our ancestors interred into these lands and when we were being forced with removal, we sent letters and petitions to the federal government saying we can't be away from our dead. We, we have to be around them. A treaty signed in 1836 gave nearly 16 million acres of the Upper and Lower Peninsula over to the United States, with reservation territories being chosen within those lands. And the Anishinaabe, the Odawa, left this very area and paddled birch bark canoes to Washington, D.C. to negotiate that treaty. The final ratification of the treaty was in July of 1836, and where did they do this? Mackinac Island. You know, that's, that's the spot. By then, the island had been fought over by the native people, the French, and the British for more than a century. Most of the culture now seen when stepping off the ferry is European. We see this place now as, as you know, horses and fudge, and it's very quaint, but for hundreds of years, it was this place of conflict. And even now, the ancestors of the ancient tribes continue to be found beneath the soil of Mackinac. As long as there's things being done to disturb the ground, we have to be vigilant and you know, look out for this. One of the largest discoveries of human remains came a little more than 10 years ago when several hundred bones were discovered during a construction project downtown. Human remains that were discovered in 2011, a number of, of, of burials were encountered. Often when major construction projects are, are you know, engaged in on the island, human remains are encountered. We look at all the evidence around you know, the, the site or the, the remains. So a lot of this will be what's buried with them. And there's forensic experts. You found this set of remains that are a thousand years old. We believe we've been here for a thousand years at least. And we work on getting those remains back. Tribes are working together. Like, where are we going to bury all these people? And the Mackinac State Historic Park stepped forward and said, you know, we can designate this section of this cemetery for this purpose. Today, the tribes and Mackinac State Historic Parks are working together to better tell the history of those that were here first. A newly renovated Native American museum stands in the heart of downtown, and markers are placed around the perimeter of the island telling the history of the tribes. We're still here, and that's a big part of the story that we try to tell is the Anishinaabe people never left this area. It's a work in progress, and we're not done by any means. And we're working towards telling more of the stories. I, I, I can't answer that question of, you know, how would it be complete? I can't fathom that right now. The Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act of 1990 allows for certain unearthed remains on federal land to be handed to the lineal descendants or the tribes for burial. For those who want to explore the historical markers on Mackinac Island, visitors are welcome year round. You can visit the Biddle House in the spring to learn more about Native American history on the island.